Hold on, Jess. I can't hear you of the Le Miz Act 1 finale. What's that? Me! <laughs> a vacation. Well, I know my business. Oh, a vacation? Well, that's complicated for me. I understand that last year I spent eight months of it on a Caribbean cruise ship, and that was my job. When you're a perpetually out-of-work actor, taking time off from unemployment seems ridiculous. Plus, the vacation pay for a waiter is about the same as the sick pay. So a vacation, when you're married, vacation is just one of the many compromises you have to take. My husband loves traveling to exotic places, seeing new things, meeting new people, and basking the majesty of nature. I hate all of that stuff. I want to wake up at noon, hit the beach, and then dance the night away. Which actually describes three out of four of my last singing contracts. It also describes pretty much all of our vacations. So this year, we're going to do something a, a little different. First, we take a bus. To an airplane. And a brief two-hour layover in Denver before we get on another plane. While my folks are down south in the warm weather, his mother's across the country in freezing Montana. Also in Montana is some of the world's greatest skiing. David's been skiing since he was a kid, and apparently he's really good at it, just like everybody else in his family. I've been once to Minnesota on a church youth group trip. Three days, and I was 11. And so I find myself in a condo six minutes from the slopes, and I gotta say it's gorgeous. Three times the size of my apartment in Manhattan, and as it belongs to his mother, uh, the price is just right. You know those mother-in-laws on sitcoms you watched growing up? Well, mine is exactly the opposite of that. Instead of just leaving me at the lodge or weighting me down with rocks and throwing me down the mountain, she signed me up for private ski lessons with a nice lady. Yeah, David could have taught me how to ski, but this saved a lot of tears. I got to learn the basics with a caring professional, and they met me after lunch. Time to go with the kitties. And this is our second time of a real mountain mountain. Yeah, I fell down a lot before we were able to get this footage. But I fall all the time in regular life. I'm good at it. It doesn't scare me. Trading off between my husband, my mother-in-law, and her ski pro boyfriend, Paul, I'm having a blast. I can't remember the last time I completely left my comfort zone and did something totally new. Something I, admittedly, have no interest in. I don't like athletics, and I don't like the outdoors. But this place is incredible. Look at that snow come down. It's President's Day weekend and everyone's heading up to the mountain. They call them powder hounds, which in the Manhattan nightclub scene, powder hound is a totally different connotation. But for me, it just meant more soft stuff to fall into. When we head back to Manhattan at the end of the week, it's gonna be the beginning of audition season, the start of a new weekly commercial class for me, and David's play that his company's producing is gonna start its Broadway transfer. And what? But all that will wait. Manhattan's not going anywhere. I'm just gonna focus on getting down this icy mountain without killing myself or anyone else. Not worried about yesterday and not worrying about tomorrow. Just being alive. <laughs> I know it's just skiing, the sport of wealthy white people everywhere, but I'm returning to New York somehow more confident, more alive, and ready. I can 100% say I would have never done this of my own volition. This is why you get married, folks. Love ain't easy, but it's wonderful.